In most instances, when you are adding a hatch pattern to your drawing, all you are really concerned with is getting the right hatch pattern and having it appear at an appropriate size and at the correct angle. But sometimes the position of the hatch is important. For example, the hatch pattern you are adding might represent the ceiling tiles in a reflected ceiling plan. Or the hatch pattern might be a literal representation of brick or concrete block. In such situations, you need to be able to control how the hatch pattern is created in relation to the area in which it is being added. For example, perhaps you really need this hatch pattern to align with the bottom of the wall. This is where the ability to control the hatch origin becomes important. When you start the hatch command, the program displays the hatch creation contextual ribbon. Some hatches, such as brick patterns, need to be aligned with a point on the hatch boundary. By default, the hatch origin corresponds to the origin of the current user coordinate system. When you move the cursor inside the rectangle, you can see that based on the current UCS origin, the hatch pattern would not align correctly. But you can change that. In the origin panel, if you click the Set Origin button, the program prompts you to specify the origin point. You can then click to select the origin point. For example, you can use the Endpoint Object Snap to select the lower left corner of the rectangle. Then, when you move the cursor inside the rectangle again, the resulting hatch pattern would now be aligned so that the coursing starts correctly at the bottom of the rectangle. Click so that the hatch preview is placed in the drawing. You can also expand the origin panel on the hatch creation contextual ribbon and use the buttons to control the origin or starting location of the hatch pattern. You may wish to click the thumbtack to pin this panel open. There are several ways you can select the origin in addition to using the current origin or selecting the hatch origin by picking a point. Expand the origin panel. Here, the origin of the hatch pattern can be set to the bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right, or center of the rectangular extents of the resulting hatch. When you use one of these options, you do not have to manually pick the origin point. As you click each of these options, the hatch pattern preview updates so that you can see how the hatch pattern will be placed in the drawing. Specifying the hatch origin in this way can be particularly useful when positioning the grid of a reflected ceiling plan. For example, suppose that the rectangle represents a room and you want to position the ceiling grid so that it is centered in the room. This could take some trial and error to get the hatch origin positioned properly. But if you select the Center Origin option, the program automatically finds the center of the rectangle, and you can immediately see that the ceiling grid has been centered in the room. If you want all subsequent hatches to use this same origin, you can click the Store as Default Origin button. The point you use for the current hatch pattern will then become the new default hatch pattern origin for future hatches.